Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about XDC as usual and a huge update from Uphold. If you follow me on Twitter you would already know. We're then going to look at the latest report from the EU to grade cryptocurrencies based on their energy usage and then we're going to finish off by looking at some bad news for Bitcoin and a short clip on the scary economic chaos. I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from XDC Foundation. Now XDC guys is a tier 3 coin okay. So now you can deposit and withdraw from external crypto wallets okay. Before you couldn't do that. Before you could only buy and then keep on uphold or exchange to other cryptos and then take it off the exchange which was a bit of a long-winded process but now guys the day is finally here you can deposit and withdraw your xdc directly from uphold so this is huge news for the community we have finally got what we wanted uphold is supporting xdc as much as possible guys and we need to support uphold if you want to sign up and you haven't already done so please follow my link in the description below let's move on to the next bit Looking at a tweet from XDC. So why has Uphold chosen to stick by XDC? It has speed, interoperability, scalability, utilities, loads of them, a very low fee, almost zero, strong security, eco-friendly for the environment, compliance with ISO 20022 standards, MLETR compliance. Why would you use a different blockchain? This applies to the whole world right now okay many organizations are kind of promoting other chains like ethereum and solana come on guys look how many times have these so-called high level chains broken down they cost too much in fees okay even now with ethereum having moved to the more energy efficient process they still charge too much in fees okay xdc meets all the standards from across the board okay it is definitely the chosen one guys and it is just a matter of time before institutions start diverting all their products and assets onto the xdc blockchain so please keep your eyes and ears open because we are getting close to that point looking at a tweet from darren lewis jr xdc a rising tide lifts all boats make quarter the go-to place for financial services and in this case, trade finance. Let's have a quick look at these green grabs. Enterprise software company R3 Quarter Network, backed by many of the world's largest banks, is following the general trend toward public facing blockchains. Announced on Tuesday, a group of former RBS bankers, now known as Lab577, is bridging the way for Exchange Infinite, which is known as Zinfin, a blockchain focused on the trade finance space. Its native token, the Ethereum compatible XDC, will be used as a settlement coin inside Quarter. You heard it here, right? I've told you this clearly on my channel many times. R3 Quarter are using XDC as their settlement coin. And as you can see at the top here, they have the world's largest banks on Quarter already. Okay, let's look at the next part. A number of trade finance applications are being built on Quarter, such as the trade i expect marco polo project so will these existing trade finance players be getting around the campfire with xdc and singing kumbaya i think it's more a case of a rising tide lifts all boats crook said this is continuing to make Coda the go-to place for financial services and in this case trade finance Coda is connecting the whole world's banks together okay and why do you think they're choosing Coda? Because Coda can solve all their problems, okay? It's not just financial services, it's trade finance as well. And XDC is at the heart being the settlement coin, okay? Just remember what you huddle, huddled, guys. Diamond hands, okay? Let's go. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Gold Telegraph. Credit Suisse has agreed to pay $495 million dollars as part of a settlement with the USA over mortgage-backed securities, which should send everyone down memory lane of the 2008 financial crisis. Today, Credit Suisse is feeling lots of pressure. You can't make this stuff up. 
it is getting absolutely clear guys by the day that we are moving towards this global depression okay and as this chap replies here for credit suisse it looks like it is 2008 all over again the bank has recently begun a sales process for its u.s asset management business and abu dhabi and saudi arabia are exploring potential investments in the lenders investment bank and other businesses okay guys they are going down and out okay it is all signs of another massive financial crash recession we are already in it and we are now moving to a massive global depression guys and credit suisse one of the biggest banks in the world is gonna lead us down that rabbit hole once again but just remember be prepared have your mindset ready okay guys because this is gonna affect every single person on global earth okay guys let's move on to the next bit looking at a tweet from xdc european union to grade cryptocurrencies based on energy consumption so i'm going to be looking at this report before i start that how many times have we talked about energy usage on this channel many many times okay energy is a number one priority right now especially with having low energy across the globe having blackouts everywhere potentially more and more blackouts are going to happen across Europe as well in the coming months, especially as we head towards the winter months. Guys, currently, they are talking about using less and less energy so they can save some for the winter months, okay? When it's really cold, okay, guys? And if you have more cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and a few others, all right, that are going to be using huge amounts of energy, okay? Why do you need to mine when you can have proof of stake, have a fixed amount of coins, and get on with your life proof of stake is the next generation stuff okay now let's look at this article so they say here eu's arm plans to create a energy efficiency grading measure for cryptocurrencies to tackle their high energy consumption and encourage greener crypto systems do you guys know a green crypto system i definitely do because i talk about that system on my channel every single day and that is known as the XDC network guys. It's one of the greenest crypto blockchain systems out there. Okay. We fit the bill from the very beginning. We are compliant with all the laws across the globe regarding energy, regarding fees, everything. Okay. Why do you think XDC is placed where it is in the heart of R3, in the heart of trade finance? Because it solves problems and it doesn't cost the environment or your pocket because it's minimal fees that you gotta pay to make a transaction on the xtc network okay guys and the report says here guys that just as their use has grown significantly the energy consumption of cryptocurrency has more in harnessing the use of cryptocurrencies and other blockchain technologies in energy markets and trading care must be taken to use only the most energy efficient versions of the technology look guys We've been getting this clear signal from regulators across the globe that energy usage, crypto companies, crypto projects are going to be phased out. All right, guys, they have to change their code or they have to go away because energy usage, especially the amount of energy Bitcoin uses, is not sustainable. OK, we are moving to a carbon net zero environment in the next few years, and it's probably going to happen very much sooner, guys, because we are running out of energy. OK, guys, and what are they trying to do, guys? They say here the EU seeks to encourage more energy efficient consensus mechanisms used by blockchain networks, such as the proof of stake model. We are already there, guys. OK, Ethereum just moved to this new system and XTC has been with this system from the very beginning. OK, we are ahead of the competition, guys. OK, we are ahead of many crypto projects. Many crypto projects are starting to catch up now. They are playing catch up, guys. But we are well ahead of this game. We are in the right place at the right time, okay? And they clearly hear, guys, because look, Bitcoin uses too much energy. Crypto miners consume nearly as much electric energy as every home in Houston, Texas. <laughs> there you go, guys. Energy is a no-go area. If your project uses too much energy, then you should be questioning your investment for the near future because we are moving to a green energy narrative. And if your project is a mining crypto project guys you should be weighing your options and looking at better investment opportunities and xtc guys is definitely one of them that you should be considering 
let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Dr. Martin Heisbeck, the guy from Uphold. He says, Bitcoin fails to produce one block for over an hour. The end is nigh. What do you reckon, guys? Let's have a quick look at this article. 85 minute block interval left more than 13,000 transactions stuck in a pending state on Monday. Do we ever have these kind of problems with XTC network? No, we don't, guys. We don't charge high fees. We are energy compliant and we don't have these problems like Bitcoin. And like I said so many times, guys, Bitcoin is dinosaur technology. You can't do anything with it. They call it a so-called store of value, but that's all it is. Bitcoin cannot help any industry move into the digital era, guys, because it doesn't solve any problems. OK, XTC, on the other hand, guys, is full of utility, as you know, from my channel, and they are solving real world problems such as moving value across the borders and trade finance. OK, guys, so please keep your eyes and ears open. And they're talking about difficulty here, guys. OK, as difficulty increases, so are the block intervals going to increase. OK, guys, and energy, they say here with energy soaring in price, it is definitely going to take a toll on mining operations. OK, many companies are going to stop mining because we are trying to ration energy usage right now, especially leading into the energy crisis. OK, guys, so please pay attention to all of this. Let's move on to the next bit. Before I go, guys, I'm going to make you watch a short clip which kind of puts us into perspective on where we are going with this economic chaos that we are in right now. And Seek for Truth says it here, they want to wind it up to a point where there is total global economic chaos. This cult wants to then come forward as their saviors. They will say, we will forgive all your debt, but in return, we want all your assets. And this is the Klaus Schwab line, you will own nothing and be happy. And we talk about that every few days on my channel, the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, you will own nothing and be happy. So let's quickly watch this clip and then we will talk quickly about it at the end. Also, they have systematically broken down the supply chain. I've seen interviews with people working at container ports, places where goods are moved through, who've, been, who've said we've been told to hold on to things, slow everything down. What? Why would they do that? Because the supply chain delays add to the inflation because the scarcity drives the price up. So everything is going up. So decisions have been made by American corporations and corporations in Europe and around the world. China is, as uh, over the decades, has become the dominant source of production for so much. So you've handed China control of the world economy. You certainly handed China control of the supply chain. Because if that stops, then what are you going to do? You um, are looking at a situation where they have hold the economy under the waterline, and it's going to become more and more and more obvious. And they want to wind it, wind it up to the point where there is total global economic chaos. That's what they want. Because this cult, they want to be able to come forward. This is in their own document. As the saviors. The world is in this terrible state. You're in this economic turmoil and desperation and deprivation. What we're going to do is we're going to forgive all the debt that you have. But in return, we want all of your assets. We want your home. We want everything. And this is the Klaus Schwab line. You will own nothing. And there you have it, guys. We talk about this regularly on my channel. This is how it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to work in real terms. If they're going to forgive your debt and they're going to want to take your house from you, they're going to want to take your car from you. I don't know how that's going to work for every average person in the world. But if that's the case, guys, it's going to happen for a lot of people. OK, and this is something you're going to have your minds ready for because they're not going to give you anything unless it profits them the most. OK, guys, so this is how the globalist agenda works. They want to have a system in place where they can watch you, but in the same time profit from that. OK, so it's always about the money for these people, guys, and they're going to put us exactly where they want us to be, guys. OK, they want to put us on this new CBDC system. They want to put us on this credit score system where you have a social credit score, depending on what you do with your life on a daily basis, guys. OK, so CBDCs, everything it is coming, guys. All you have to do is get your mindset ready, invest in the right cryptocurrency projects, especially the ISO compliant ones. XDC is definitely one of them. 
and just make sure that you are rich while you are moving into that system and then at least you might feel a bit more comfortable okay guys because xdc will definitely change your life and my life for the better so that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video so i can spread the news about xdc as usual like fire on youtube and please share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow i hope you have a lovely day take care bye bye